Good morning, this is Tuesday, October 24th, and I got my five knives for the heat treat. These are the customs for Christmas. I got them ground, um, and they're all ready. I will get them stamped and straightened, and then I will start the heat treat today. Uh, while I'm doing the heat treat, I will open up the Magna Cut stuff and grab out the customs that are in there. And I will also be get work getting some of more of the handle shaping done. I almost got these finished on Saturday. I'm at 400 grit, so I'll do one more grit, and these will all be ready for hand sanding. And then I will clean up this Saya. So this is the Saya I had to rework a little bit. I told you guys about that last week or the week before. It is much thicker on the inside. I only put one layer of uh, the felt on it so it can't expand as much as it did last time. And I did route at it out significantly more so that won't be an issue. And then got it glued back together. Um, so I will clean up everything, repolish it. It'll be pretty and new. And then get that knife sharpened and we'll get it back to that chef. Um, other than that, that's my day. Here's Danny with what he's got going on. What's up everyone? Just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world. And I hope everyone had a great weekend. I have got the refurbs getting pretty much taken care of. I've got the leather stack dyed, ready to go. I just need to get some peening going. And then I should have my stainless pin coming in today for this guy, so I should get that one done. I'll get some extra grinding done on some customs that I just kind of spaced in for this holiday season. And then hopefully sometime this week, I can possibly finish up a bunch of those guys, the customs I got in the heat treat for today, and then on to some exciting stuff later on this week. Um, it is Tuesday, so Industry Sharpening Tuesday is on and popping. We are gonna be doing that and whatever else comes in. We're gonna go ahead and go into the showroom now with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about Hella. If you don't know Hella, they are a Norwegian brand, fourth generation uh, family owned company. Pause. Oh, Hella, not Heli. <laughs> we all thought it was Heli. Yep. Hella, the guy came in, told us, great guy. So just wanna, uh, let you guys know that we're not mispronouncing yeah. it. Don't give me any kind of stuff on that. Back to it. Right. Okay. And after looking at all the samples, this was my personal favorite knife. This is the GOP, and this is in a Scandivic uh, 12C27 um, high grade stainless. It's a very nice microstructure to it. Uh, it's cool because they actually label the knife and the steel, um, and it's all out of this lovely uh, figured birch, curly birch. Um, just a great feeling knife with uh, also sheath made in Norway. Um, Gop means lynx in Norwegian, yes. hence they put the little lynx paw on it. Um, I love how deep that comes in. Like you're, you're, that's not gonna fall out accidentally. And I just, I love how that handle fits. Um, yeah, super stoked to have these in. So you'll see more in the future, but this is just a little preview, the first one we opened, because it was my favorite, and we thought it would show you that one. Right on, and just so you guys know, Hella is a great bushcraft knife brand that we brought in for that kind of niche. Um, they do a lot of traditional building. They don't do a lot of the, the more modern takes. They don't really have the grinders we have in our shop and their shop. They do a lot of traditional style things. So their handles do tend to be on the girthier side, but that's because through their bushcrafting, that's what they developed. These guys have been around for a long time. So their knives are the way they are for a reason. Beautifully done, handmade, and Scandi grinds for that great bushcraft blade. Um, you guys have any questions, leave them down there and we'll be introducing them to you later this week. And I'll just add one more thing on Scandi grinds. There's a ton of confusion on what a Scandi grind is. These guys are so cool. I'm actually gonna have a call with them with our distributor and one of the guys who works at Hella, Hella excuse me, see, it's still getting used to that. Um, so he's the current uh, uh, operation ma manager. So he's literally, he's gonna have a, like an hour long co conversation with us about what their idea of a Scandi grind is because the internet and knife guys are full of what's a Scandi grind, what isn't a Scandi grind. So we're gonna just get the information from the source and figure out what they mean by Scandi so we can inform everybody better. Yeah. It's really hard for Texans or Americans to talk about a Scandinavian type of thing. So one of, the thing, one of the things we'll do is we'll get that from them so we can be more confident, not just in their way of building knives, but the actual Scandi concept behind that for us to be more knowledgeable to customers. Um, other than that, y'all, we'll wrap it up here. See you on the next one. Like I said, 
Peace.